What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be showing off the brand new Season 8 new set, Demon Hunter. Now they completely reworked Natalia, so it does not play like Natalia's at all. It's no longer about Reign of Vengeance, it's actually a trap build. So this is a brand new Season 8 best build guide for the Demon Hunter for the new set. So even though it's an, technically it's a uh, rework on a set, it doesn't play anything near its predecessor. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, what are the brand new changes. So let's go over that. At first because on the actual website they don't have the uh, brand newest update uh, for all of the pieces of gear so we're gonna have to use some screenshots so starting right off let's go over what's new with season 28 with demon hunter we'll go over how to build it and play it so starting right off we want the six piece of natalia's so how it works is it's almost like a god dh but you're using spike traps so with the two piece bonus when we hit an enemy it's going to use the spike trap that we have on our bar then what it's going to be able to do is, in addition to placing the trap, it's going to be able to give us some damage reduction with a four-piece bonus. So that's a 60% damage reduction. And then with the six-piece bonus, we have it so spike traps will deal a 10,000% multiplier increased damage, and each consecutive blast from the detonated chain reaction will deal 10% more damage than the previous blast. So that's how it works. All the gameplay that you guys are going to be seeing is GR100. Uh, you can technically go further. Right now on the PTR, there's a build that's using the uh, shadows in combination with Natalia's. That is a bug that said that they're going to be changing that. So that build, I've done a GR150 with that one. Theoretically, that one is better, but that one is getting nerfed. So this is going to be the best current build uh, for like the realistic one that's coming out in season 28 and i wanted to make this video for you guys but i will also drop a video going over the bugged version because it's kind of fun to see uh certain things uh happen in the game so if you guys do want to see that uh that will be uploaded very soon but basically natalia's it's a spike trap build uh that basically is auto casted so if you're uh very familiar with a god dh the play style is very similar so in addition to the newer changes with Natalia's, let's go over the newer changes with the items. So the newer items over here, like I said, if I mouse over them, it doesn't have the newest changes updated here. So we're going to use some screenshots. So uh, Chen and Bolter got a buff dealing basically a uh, multiplier of up to 200% increased damage. It still lures the enemies, but that 200% increased damage is the newest change. And then with the Tragos Coils, which are brand new updates to the Bracers, it's a, uh, another multiplier over here, a 200% increased damage and it gains another rune. Um, that one we're going to be uh, cubing. And then we have the new Demon's Demise. This makes it so each blast from Spike Trap will damage all enemies again after one second and deals 185% uh, increased damage. It can roll up to 200%, but whatever one rolls the worst, just throw it inside of your Kanai's Cube and you'll be good to, to go. But starting right off, there are going to be multiple build variants, but let me go ahead and go over the gameplay uh, in terms of how we actually play this build and all the skills that you'll need, as well as the passives and the pieces of gear that you'll want. So starting right off, as far as our skills go we want preparation with punishment this is how we are going to sustain our resource costs as we're going to be strafing pretty much for the entirety of the gameplay so that gives us extra hatred then we're going to be wanting strafe so strafe will allow us to basically activate uh, hitting the enemy and also just moving really fast it's just uh, there for efficiency you can technically run other skills but this one by far is the best for speed as well as mobility then we want companion you can run wolf you can run boar you can run bat any combination of those will be a okay uh, next up uh, spike trap we want to run the lightning rod rune that one is going to be the best in slot because it lets you trigger and it arcs to multiple enemies and it does really good damage it's the most efficient uh, way to play and then we're running vengeance dark heart uh, just like you would with any any demon hunter build however if you really want to you can run seeth if you are just like doing some speed runs and you're running out of that resource uh then we want smoke screen uh, i like personally like displacement you can run lingering fog but this is just a great ability to have on the demon hunter and then for passives we're running custom engineering uh, for more uh, traps then we're running ambush for more damage call of the week and in combination with thrill of the hunt for extra uh, damage over here so this one procs this one and they work really well with each other now for the weapon uh, inside of the cube you can run lots of different things chen and bolter or you can run the, the demon's demise or you can run dawn any combination of those is excellent then we're running a Tragwolves, and Tragwolves is, I already mentioned the, the bonus. The, it doesn't say it here, but remember there's that uh, damage multiplier. And then uh, Run Ringer Grandeur, or you can, if you want to, you can throw conventional elements and equip it. Uh, you do need the Natalia's um, 
ring because we want to run two sets over here. We want to run not only Natalia's, but two additional sets, which are going to be the Augilds as well as Guardian, which is uh, really relevant right now since uh, uh, Guardian's got a buff in a more recent update for the game. So uh, starting right off in terms of the gameplay play style, all you're going to be doing is basically spinning to win, activate preparation when you're lower on a resource, pretty much keep up your companion at all times, and then uh, just spike trap, well, you don't even need a castle. So just keep up Vengeance, and it's kind of like a generic a GOD uh, Demon Hunter in terms of the playstyle. There's also a variant of the build that I will show you that's more of a speed variant. You can also run Squirt's Necklace and Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Um, it's kind of up to you if you want more survivability or if you want more cooldown reduction. So it is going to be a lightning-based build, so get lightning uh, where you can, which are going to be in the Bracers as well as in the um, Amulet slot if you can get that. So starting right off, what we're going to be looking for is we're going to want the six piece of Natalia's. It's going to be kind of a generic build in terms of Diablo. Crit chance, crit damage is kind of like your go-to. Cooldown reduction, if you can get it, is really good on this build as well. As well as resource cost reduction can be an okay roll uh, in addition to the previous ones that I mentioned. Uh, the thing that is very important to mention with the build on certain rolls is going to be instead of getting the extra damage on your helm as well as your boots like most Diablo builds, we're going to be actually getting spike trap damage in our shoulder pieces as well as our chest piece. So you want to look out for those. Those are the important ones. But again, cooldown reduction, uh, create a chance, create a damage is kind of your go-to. I'll go and mention like the important things. But we want two pieces of guardians. Uh, we want the uh, guardian helm as well as the belt. And then we're going to go for all guilds. That's going to be the bracers. You just want lightning damage, crit hit uh, chance on your bracers. But again, nothing too special with that. So two piece all guilds and then two piece guardian. Then we're running the six piece Natalia's. You can also get hatred regeneration, which is not something that always rolls normally on chest pieces. If you want to get it on the chest, it is an option. I'm just going to go ahead and mention that. Um, and then uh, we want the Natalia's ring. If you can get hit crit Great chance, great damage. Uh, you can also just get flat damage on your rings. That's also great. Um, if you want to get hatred regeneration on your weapons, you can get that or cooldown reduction. Those are all great options as well. Or you can just roll flat damage. Nothing too special with the boots. Um, and then uh, we can run compass rose or we can go with the seating ring of the zodiac. Uh, but if you want to run Traveler's Pledge, that's an option. You do want to get Lightning Damage in that. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the first part of the uh, build. Now, there are variances of it. Uh, but going over the gems real quick, um, Bane of the Stricken is going to be good for pushing. You can run Taeguk as well as uh, Bane of the Trap. Pretty much in most Diablo builds, for any like G.O.D. variant of Demon Hunter, since we're going to be channeling, uh, we want to run Bane of the Trap as well as Taeguk. The last one is kind of optional on what you want to run. If you do want to push, obviously Stricken is going to be the go-to. Uh, but uh, if you want to, um, you can maybe run a different one. If you want to run like Powerful earlier on, that's an option. You can also run Squirt's Necklace as well as Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac earlier on if you want to get extra uh, damage as well as getting extra cooldown reduction uh, to kind of keep up your Vengeance if you want to drop Dawn. I've seen some people do that. Uh, alternatively, you can also think about dropping Dawn for Fortress Ballista. The reason why is because you're going to be able to upkeep your Squirt's Necklace with the um, ability to not take damage because you're taking shield damage that does not count, and so your Squirt's Necklace will be able to upkeep these stacks. Um, I'm showing you guys a build over here where it's more for like T16, but you can do GR100s. You guys are seeing gameplay of GR100 with the speed variant uh, right now. So with the speed variant, the thing that I like to do is I like to uh, not play the punishment and instead I just run Blood Vengeance, which makes it so when we get these globes, it's going to give us that hatred that we need. Uh, so I'm running Shadow Plyro with uh, the Shadow Glide so we can go a little bit faster. Um, uh, you can run um, Tactical if you want to on your passive uh, as well. You can drop Call of the Week if you want to and just run Tactical Advantage. This uh, will allow us to just move a little bit faster on the map. You can also run Hot Pursuit if you want to drop like Ambush if, as long as you have the damage. This is more for again T16 just speed running uh, that you guys are seeing right now in the gameplay. It's a lot, a lot faster as you guys will see. Uh, but uh, if you do want to go faster, this is another option. In terms of the gems you want, you can run a Topaz if you want to in the Helm to get extra. Uh, resource cost reduction because again this build does spend resource really really fast and on top of that you want diamonds and most of your pieces of gear for extra survivability but if you want to run emeralds you can do that as well it's just you get more of a min max if you decide to go ahead and put in uh, diamonds in your pieces of gear uh, but the helmet you can run again a topaz if that is something that you want to go ahead and do but that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the build uh, as far as it goes in terms of all the pieces of gear how to play it and uh, the things that you'll want to know like i said before because it's not updated obviously when season 28 comes out all the in-game on max roll they'll update 
it as well. But uh, I'll leave it down below in case you guys want to check out everything over on the Maxwell website. But thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you want to see more Diablo builds in the future, make sure you guys subbed with the bell noti on. And if you do want to see the other variant, I'll be dropping the video very soon that is going to be using the shadow set, which I've cleared a GR150 with. It's just kind of more for fun on the PTR. It's not going to make it on the live servers, but it is very similar in the play style and it can do way higher because you get a six plus six thousand percent uh, damage multiplier, which is amazing. But anyways, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.